Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Maple Loop 91 here, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to record Xbox One gameplay directly into your PC for free. And this can last up to four hours long. And yes, it is not just 60 minutes, and you don't even need an external storage. You need like a flash drive or a thumb drive or a hard drive or anything that is plugged into your Xbox One. So without further ado, let's get to it, right? So the first thing first, you are going to need a Windows computer. So, I mean, you can probably do this in a Mac as well, but today I'm using a Windows computer. And usually as a Microsoft uh, software is already there and uh, it comes with uh, one way to actually look at it is actually click on your start and then type xbox console companion it should show up just like that right and let's say you don't have that what do you do okay now i'm going to open up a incognito window uh just to show you guys uh how you can do this and here in the uh, address bar i'm going to type uh download xbox companion uh well it's actually Xbox console companion for Windows 10 well depending upon the system that you use and let's say this look like uh, let's see I'm not sure which link it is but let me see oh that is the one that is the first link right so um, I will have this link um, paste it in my description so you guys can uh, click through it so once you get here oh well make sure that you are already signed into your Microsoft account and which is also going to be your Xbox one account uh, it should be the same and then once you're here uh, click on get and uh, it will get downloaded and it will install into your computer right so once you do that um, you should be able to sign in but again I had few issues when I was uh, trying to sign into my Xbox console companion because uh, for some reason the sign in button wouldn't work so I had to actually surf through the internet and find a solution for this but I actually found one solution finally so I'm also going to link that in the description for you guys just to see uh, and I have this uh, link right here this is the website it's called Windows report by Ivan Janik he has some unbelievably amazing um, information in this site you can click through anything he has like very nice I love this website Windows report right so these are the solutions it has 10 solutions if I remember correctly so the solution one and if you scroll all the way to the bottom there you go he has 10 solutions yeah 10 solutions right so go through all of these solutions for me what I did was I went through the first solution didn't work I went through the second solution didn't work for me either and then I went through the third solution and I tried this and it actually worked I was able to sign into my Xbox console companion so I will like I said I will have a link to this website as well in the description just in case if you guys run into the same issue okay so let me close this right now what you should do is once you actually have that right go into your Xbox console companion right let's wait for it to load awesome there it is so now what you do is is once you have already signed in what you can do is you should go to this connection step right here right here on the left hand corner right when you press on that usually what it uh, shows you is an empty screen and then here uh, let, you will not say this because currently I al already have my Xbox connected to the uh, Xbox console, console companion and what you do is, is click on add a device right and this will not be here for you guys because of course you wouldn't have your Xbox connected already well if you have good for it so all right so how to connect to your Xbox console is to actually you need the Xbox IP address so you paste your IP address here you type in your IP address here and then you hit connect and it will get connected right once it is connected 
this is the screen that you're going to have uh, how to see what is happening in your Xbox is you should uh, click on stream once you click on stream right there you go connecting to Xbox one right now uh, okay let's say continue this is your Xbox now I'm actually in my PC looking at my Xbox screen right so now since we are here right I'm going to show you how you can actually get that IP address right so uh, if you open up your uh, just by pressing the Xbox button right on your controller and go all the way to the right where the profile is go down to settings right and uh, click on network settings right and then go down and go right hit once uh, to advanced settings once you click on advanced settings it is going to show you your IP address for your Xbox one so the first one it says IP address that is going to be your IP address for your Xbox one that is the IP address that you need to uh, actually you know um, uh, paste here type in here and then you hit connect it will get connected right so once it is done just like we did before you go into stream you hit uh, continue right there you go you hit continue and now you see this right here so that's basically how you get connected to your Xbox one right now comes how you can actually stream these videos and capture these videos like this is the screen that you're going to record right now how would you do that that is the question right so let me escape out of this right now I am disconnected from my Xbox uh, I'm not streaming anymore so what I do is usually uh, you can open up uh, this uh, called game bar usually uh, this comes in the Windows computers by default it is uh, for the PC gamers to record their games and this can also record uh, except for the folders and the desktop you can pretty much record a video or you know web browser or anything with this so what you do is you hit uh, the Windows button and G right and then you get this screen right here right so you can click through it has different options available right so like here this one right here so let me close all of this show you guys what it is actually like right this is what you get right if you click on this you are able to uh, configure your settings for your speakers sound systems Xbox game bar and all that right we don't need that but again once you come in here Xbox social this is going to show who's online and see my friend he is actually playing Watch Dogs right now you can see all of that so once you're here you can see the performance for your Xbox how much CPU you are using how much RAM and all of that right and then this is the most important part this is what we need this is what we are going to use most of the time right and you do capture right you can take screenshots and whatnot and you can mute your mic here but no we are going to uh, let's, let's let's say we can mute your mic right uh, so you don't need your mic you just uh, recording the gameplay that you're playing so let's say you started the game and let's say you started Call of Duty right now you start playing uh, Modern Warfare and then uh, all of a sudden you want to record the game so come back to your PC quickly hit this button alright while uh, so let's do like this let me go here stream connecting to my Xbox one right and then let's say we are playing a game here right and then you hit uh, Windows G open up this menu right go here capture and you start recording right now it shows here capture status this is what is recording and you can mute it or anything right and this will go on for about four hours it depends on the setting that you have already set so I'll show you how to set these settings and the quality of your video and all of that in a second so this is how you basically do it you click on this and uh, it's basically recording everything that you do on your Xbox okay so once you hit stop it it'll, you can click on show all captures right and right here this is what we just recorded at uh, just now this is what we just did so you can see 
here I'm just gonna mute this for the video and playing here this is my Xbox see I'm moving my cursor showing you guys everything so this is what it looks like All right so and you can open your file just by clicking here it will take directly into the place where the videos are saved these are just uh, testing videos that I did before I actually record uh, some of the videos so everything will be saved into your PC right so you should come uh, close that go in here escape out of the Xbox screen and like I said before how would you set your settings right now you go to settings here in this is the Xbox console companion you go into settings you click on settings it will open up this nice screen right from here you go to captures and it will say go to Windows settings to adjust adjust oh my god I can't even say the words right now to adjust your capture settings right and you click on that it will ask you whether you want to switch to settings and you say yes there we go these are the capture settings and from here I have already set it to well Here's the thing, you can change the location uh, as you want, like open folder, this is where it goes, right? And you can click on this and then you can have it saved to a different folder, you can have the information how to do that. Um, so, but what we are doing here is the record time, right? The maximum recording length is 4 hours, that is what I have set it to. You can set it to 30 minutes, you can set it to 1 hour, you can set it to 2 hour, maximum is 4 hours. So I have set it to 4 hours, right? Um, so again, recording audio, all that options are here. Audio quality is here, I have set it to recommended and all of that. And then the uh, record video quality, the frames per second, right? So I have, usually it recommends 30 FPS, it's defaulted to uh, 30 FPS, but I have set it to 60 FPS. And then the video quality is defaulted to stand, but yes, I changed it to high because why I have a Xbox One X, so which means I can record 4K HDR videos. So that's why I have set to that. These are the options that you need to change before you actually record your videos, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. So once you have connected, right, you stream, right? hit continue you press your windows button plus G right and then you get these menus you take this out and you hit on this button right here and it starts recording and this will go on until your uh, hard drive actually runs out of space right if I'm recording on 4k it's gonna take a lot of space so there you go guys this is it this is how you actually do it so if you guys have any questions Please let me know, comment down below and you can always ask me any question. I'll try to help you as much as possible. So, and don't forget to subscribe guys, you know, I can uh, help you guys with many more videos and please like this video and uh, have a great weekend guys.